It's a cold, windy, harsh place to be this time of year. A tough place to live any time of year, but it's where it all started. The Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota is nearly three million acres of rolling hills and open spaces. And for the Ogallala Lakota people who live there, trying to survive has been a long-standing and ever-present reality. That's why it started here. You can see driving through the neighborhoods of the reservation, the poverty and despair. Many of these homes don't have electricity or water. Most of the 40,000 residents are unemployed. Alcoholism is near 80%. Many people don't have enough to eat. It's the reason 17 years ago, a nonprofit from Colorado began feeding the hungry at Pine Ridge. Having the access to foods is just, I guess, to me is like people are in survival mode. Of course, hunger stretches far beyond the reservation and there's a lot of very good hearted people trying to do something about it. This is the story of one unique group from Colorado. They bring together musicians, music fan, artists, food companies and others with one goal in mind, to create art that feeds. We get excited when oh, there's food. It's called Conscious Alliance, a Boulder-based organization with a very different way of getting food assistance to people that need it. Thank you. They are a movement that collects food and money at concerts and music festivals all over the country. Through art, they empower young people. Now our art that feeds food drives happen at over 100 major music festivals and concerts across the country. And it's thousands and thousands of young people donating 20 non-perishable food items and making a monetary donation and engaging in hunger in cities across the country. We were recently at a Conscious Alliance food drive at Red Rocks. Backstage, there's a picture of U2's famous concert there. It was Bono who said, if you want to eliminate hunger, everybody has to be involved. That's what Art That Feeds is all about. Getting people, especially young people, involved. The wind was whipping through the trees at Red Rocks, previewing the weather moving in. It made it a little more difficult to set up the food drive tent at the Revivalist concert at the famed amphitheater. But the people at Conscious Alliance are used to this sort of thing. Hundreds of times a year, they set up at shows and music festivals all over the country. They give away free posters of the bands done by volunteer artists. Well, not quite free. You do have to donate food or money. You can always join our website too and you'll get recurring, recurring stuff. Justin Levy is the executive director of Conscious Alliance. And so from touring around with bands like Dave Matthews and Jack Johnson, The String Cheese Incident, Umphreys McGee, The Dead, we've met people all across the country. Um, we've met pantries, we've met people running food banks. There's a culture that's a really great culture where people want to give and, um, and they get excited about these posters because it's art, it's art that feeds people. We're creating this energy in the music and art community through our Art That Feeds Food Drives that are literally spinning the wheels of these trucks, these semi-trucks of incredible food that are donated by people in the natural food world. The bottom line is you're helping to feed people, so thank awesome. you very much. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. It's just so cool what they do. I mean, it's a very unique model. David Shaw is the lead singer for the New Orleans band. Backstage at Red Rocks, among the historic pictures of all the greats that have performed there. Jimmy Cliff right here. I mean, Trey, what? Come on now. And then back in the day, I've heard, I don't know if this is true, but I heard that the Indians used to do ceremonies in this area. So this is hallowed ground, you know? We got the spirits with us. Shaw says it's an honor, not only to follow in the footsteps of the legendary bands that have played Red Rocks, but also to follow their lead of being socially conscious. You know, like growing up, you don't, you just dream about doing this and doing that. And then you think, oh my God, now I have the ability to help people. You shine like a star. You know who you are. Everything beautiful. Not only 
help them with the music, but just straight up bring some food to their door, you know? I mean, it's amazing. Makes you feel good, you're right. By the time the band hit the stage, the wind blew in the rain. Didn't seem to matter. The fans got what they came for. Concert promoters realized a long time ago that teaming up musicians with a nonprofit that has such a passion for helping people is a no-brainer. You could help handle starvation and hunger through joy, through music. And it's the most heartwarming thing you can ever probably be a part of because the joy and the gratitude is really above and beyond. I feel it's a way for me to give back the talent that I've been given in a way to the greater good. Phil Lewis is one of the more than 100 artists that do posters that are given away. Many of them are displayed at his gallery in Boulder. He says it takes forever to complete one. They all start with a pencil drawing, then are uploaded to an iPad and resketched with bold lines and color. It's a hybrid process that results in stunning posters. Yeah, there we've done over 20 posters for different festivals and bands all over the country, and it's, it's been really successful, and it's been really awesome, super honored to have participated with those guys. Lewis's gallery is full of inspiration, not only on posters, but also on the skateboards, greeting cards, puzzles, and everything else. Recently, Conscious Alliance had an anniversary party there and displayed every poster done so far on the walls. It was quite powerful to be able to stand in front of it and look around and just read the titles and look at the bands and the artists and the artwork that was involved in that. It really gave you a sense of how big this thing really is, you know. Phil Lewis's style and talent are well known all over the country. And he says part of that comes from the food drives. The Conscious Alliance gets to use that poster to have patrons and people donate food items uh, to their cause, so that's good for them. And then they take that food and donate it to local food banks and people in need, so that's good for everybody. It's art that feeds. Good for everybody, especially for people who are hungry. They get the food, some of it collected, on a windy night at Red Rocks. Thank you. Well, have a great night. At the Conscious Alliance offices in Boulder, there are file cabinets full of posters featuring bands like String Cheese Incident or Humphreys McGee. Executive Director Justin Levy showed us some of his favorites. So you got a lot of posters here. 17 years worth of Art That Feeds posters all living right here. The posters, done by nationally renowned volunteer artists, are given to people who donate food or money at concerts all over the country. One we did uh, from Michael Franti, and uh, artist name is Josh Holland. He's a local Denver artist. Those posters turn into food that fills the nonprofit's warehouse. Once a week, administrators and teachers from schools in the area show up to get some of it. And then the kids just come and get it, and we fill up bags and we just send it home. And it's been a lifesaver for some of my families. Strauss says hunger can happen anywhere, even in affluent places like Boulder. People don't really think about Boulder and people in Boulder County being hungry, but they are. It turns out that we actually have about 26 kids um, that need some extra support. So every Friday we make weekend bags, so we know that they have food for the weekend. Everybody has a hard time at some point in time in their life, and so Conscious Alliance has been amazing. Often the food is loaded into trucks and delivered. I'm famous! This load ended up at Wyatt Academy in Denver, where the students helped unload it. <laughs> Out of the truck, through the door, down the stairs, into the school's pantry. That pantry is two big rooms filled with all kinds of food and supplies, a lot different than the original pantry. 
fact, we built uh, with some volunteers this pantry right here and our students painted it. And we imagined having a, a nice place where we could keep shelf stable food. Unfortunately, it didn't take long to figure out that the need was bigger than the cabinet that served as the original food pantry. Our neighborhood has been through a lot of change and um, part of that change includes the resources that we're used to having on every corner are now fewer and farther between. Why it is in the Cole Whittier neighborhood, which is right next to Curtis Park and Five Points. While the area is slowly being gentrified, it's an area that has fallen on hard times many times. It has empty buildings and food stores that are going or gone out of business. Wesley Woodley and his son know all about it. Wesley lives there and says it can be very difficult to buy food. All the stores currently are closing down that are even within walking distance, so unless you have transportation, uh, you, you really gotta drive quite a ways to, to get anything good. In a food desert and in a school community where 94% of our families qualify for free and reduced lunch, there is a need. And that brings us back to the food pantry at the school. After the last bell, kids and parents come by to fill their bags. It's easy because for us parents sometimes getting to the stores is difficult enough, right? And so to have this available to us right after school as we pick up our kids, I think it makes our life easier. Not to mention that it's free. There's um, canned foods, milk, bread. I mean, you can prepare a whole meal if you come down here. What do you put in there? Thanks to Conscious Alliance, school staff, parent volunteers, and others, kids and families will get a meal, get some food. It's a message of thanks passed all around and proudly displayed on a whiteboard. Pine Ridge Reservation is six hours and worlds away from Denver. It's millions of harsh, mostly empty acres and roughly 38,000 Ogallala Lakota Native Americans. Its houses are in varying stages of decay, many without electricity or plumbing, a land disconnected from economic reality and shaped by history, including what happened here more than 100 years ago. A sign now sits at the site of the Wounded Knee Massacre of 1890, when hundreds of Indians were killed by U.S. Army troops. Nearby, colorful decorations surround some of the victims' graves. The markers sit among other newer markers that recall more recent times, more recent events, more recent heartbreak. The Pine Ridge Reservation tells a bleak story until you look deeper to the tradition and spirit of the people. It's inspiring, it's encouraging. It shows that there is uh, unconquerable dignity and, and hope, you know what I mean? They say hope is dangerous, but hope, sometimes hope is all you got. You have to, you have to hold on and people are holding on here. Some of that hope was on display recently at a school on the reservation. Trucks full of food from Colorado-based Conscious Alliance were unloaded, sorted, and placed in bags to be given away. Every single day it's a struggle for people to feed themselves. And, and again, in, in that in environment, um, you know, we can never really concentrate. We can never pick our heads up out of the weeds as a people, collectively. It's why these Conscious Alliance volunteers came to the reservation. They came from the music, art, and natural food industries, the foundation of the organization's support. It all started when donations from the very first food drive were given to the residents of Pine Ridge. We've been working here since 2002, and it really is the heartbeat of the organization and, and the heart of our founding story. So uh, it's always a special place to come home to. Yeah, there we go. What we're bringing here is, is a lot of joy and a lot of compassion. And being around all these wonderful people volunteering is, is really filling us with, with a lot of hope and, and a lot of inspiration. 
Conscious Alliance is a really great partner for businesses like ours um, within the natural product space to divert that product from the landfill and be able to feed communities that are, that are in need. They brought with them all kinds of food, everything from canned foods to coffee to cereals and soup packets. Once a year, the group goes there around the holidays, sorts and distributes more than 30,000 pounds of food. The food is much needed. The lack of infrastructure in towns has led to a lack of places to get food. There's 40,000 Oglala Lakota living here and only one grocery store. So uh, talk about a food desert. It's, it's uh, the biggest one I've seen in the U.S. And once a month, Conscious Alliance sends a truck full of food from Denver to fill their pantry on the reservation. Pine Ridge, uh, this county, is always within the top three of the poorest in the United States. The pantry was started three years ago when a tiny building became available to rent. It's attached to an old abandoned church, which could someday be turned into an empowerment center and meeting space. We provide a social service, you know, the emergency food relief, but also to bring social change to help families to empower themselves so that they can get out of these tough situations. The food at the pantry is given away once a week. And while it makes a difference, what really helps is the work of Shalene Maktima Little. I believe She that, grew up um, there and is now the only nutritionist working on the reservation. She's paid by the state of South Dakota Department of Health. It's a lot more complicated than just handing out food. It's helping families learn what food to eat and it usually starts with the women in the home. I believe that in Native families, that when the mother is intact, the grandmother, the maternal side is intact, people rely on us for uh, cooking meals, uh, setting the tone for the family, uh, keeping everyone uh, together. But when there's a will, there's a way. And that's why volunteers from Colorado were joined by some students from Pine Ridge to deliver the holiday meals to individual homes. Okay, that's going to be around that the corner, is, right? To the left. They used school buses and carried bags of food, turkeys, and hams right up to the front door. Welcome. Have a good day. You can better understand the needs of the people driving through the meager neighborhoods, but you also understand the resolve of the people who live there. People on the outside see us as poor here, but we're very rich. You know, we're rich in land and the culture and the language and ceremonies. And so we try to just stay positive and focus on those gifts and um, try to help each other. Here, let me pass off to you so I can hold the bottom. Yeah. Yes, it seems a world away, but to the Coloradans who made the trip, Pine Ridge is very close to their hearts. Conscious Alliance uses their unique blend of music, posters, and fans to collect and distribute food all over the country. We've provided a million meals this year already. You guys excited about the show? Over the 17 years of food drives at concert venues, they provided nearly four and a half million meals. But they are only one of hundreds of organizations in Colorado working to feed people. We just started. Aaron Ehrlich is the director of the Colorado Blueprint to End Hunger. Whether they be charity food programs, whether they be food retailers um, and grocery stores, um, federal nutrition programs, and then also thinking about our, the role of our policymakers and public opinion um, around this issue. So really thinking about tackling it from a number of different perspectives, knowing that there's not one solution. With the help of great partners like Food Bank of the Rockies, the Blueprint to End Hunger is a five-year plan started last year to make sure no one in Colorado suffers from food insecurity and that everyone has access to healthy food in their own neighborhood or community. Hunger is invisible um, and people make those trade-offs on a daily basis and 
it's, it's not something that people talk about with their friends. The Blueprint plans to work with its partners to increase access to affordable food through community-based organizations. It'll also work to make sure everyone who can is benefiting from federal programs. Another goal is to increase awareness of hunger in the community and why it happens. Quantity of food exists for all Coloradans to eat um, whenever they need to eat, and but that food is not making it to the people who need it. When we do our annual Nine Cares Colorado Shares Food Drive, it always gets me thinking. Food is so easy for me to get, but what if it wasn't? What would it be like if we just didn't know where or how to get our next meal? It's something everybody should think about. What can we all do to make a difference in people's lives when it comes to fighting hunger? And while we're doing that, we should also be grateful for all the people who work so hard to feed others. Like Conscious Alliance. From concerts to food on tables, art that feeds. Coming up, you know, you dream, you hope, you think, you know, maybe all oh, this could happen, you know, and then you have a little, you know, you have these little incremental, you know, things that happen along the way, and you have some setbacks. I remember one weekend we had like four flat tires, and two starters went out, and an alternator blew up, all in one weekend. So, you know, you, you, you just take the good with the bad, and you just, you know, keep rolling for the greater good. It's pretty hard to choose a favorite. Um, I would say one of the ones that I feel struck the biggest chord was uh, the Electric Forest 2013 poster we did with the Electric Fox. I've been lucky enough to have the opportunity to lead this because there's a lot of people who have believed in me and believed in us to get us where we are today.